get into many of the advanced boot and recovery options in Windows 10 is fairly easy. Start by opening up the Windows settings and you can get there several different ways. You can click on the icon bottom right in the system tray for the information icon or you can open up the start button and click on settings there or the easiest way is to hit your windows key and the i key for information once you're here click on update and security then click on advanced startup the restart now button this restarts your system make sure you've now saved all of your work once your system reboots this is what you'll see from here you can either continue to windows 10 you can turn off the computer boot to a usb device or a dvd or you can go on to further troubleshooting options when you click on the troubleshoot option and this is what you'll see from here you can either reset the computer which means going back to reinstall windows or you can check advanced options once you select advanced options and this is what comes up next from here you can go back to a previously created system restore point or use a system image you can go to a command prompt. If you're having a problem restarting, you can use the startup repair, which will fix some of the problems to keep Windows from loading. You can also go to a command prompt. Last one on here is go back to a previous build. The next one that will give you some options, select the startup settings, which will allow you to change how window boots. When you click on that one, and this is what comes up next from here you can choose many of the troubleshooting modes including boot logging debugging if you're having a problem with your video card you may want to choose the low resolution mode from here you can also get to safe mode and if you're having problems with drivers you can disable the driver signature enforcement policy you can also disable the early launch of your antivirus program if that happens to be your problem from the advanced options screen you also have one other option and that's to go directly back to the BIOS by selecting the UEFI firmware settings once you click on this button this is what will come up next from here click on the restart and once it restarts this is what you will see so if you don't know the key combination to get to your bio settings this may be one other way to get there stay safe be free i hope this helps